Hey everyone, welcome back to another Figma tutorial. We will be walking you through the process of setting up the horizontal and vertical scrolling, suitable for mobile and desktop designs. To simplify things, we will use the mobile design as an example. We will be using Auto Layout again, and if you need a refresher on Auto Layout, take a moment to review the video above. It's important to note that Auto Layout primarily emphasizes the creation of responsive layouts within frames, while frame selection is focused on visually grouping and manipulating elements within frames. Starting with a horizontal scroll, let's select the small cards and apply an Auto Layout using the keyboard shortcut Shift A, or by accessing the Auto Layout option on the right hand side. After changing this into an Auto Layout, it's important to click on Clip Content promptly. This ensures that the content remains contained within the frame without overflowing. Let's move the handle to the edge of the phone as shown here. All the elements are there, they're just simply hidden. Let's test this out. Go to the prototype stage at the top here. Under scroll behavior, for this design, we want to keep the position of the horizontal scroll to scroll with the parent and change the overflow to horizontal. To confirm if this works, let's test it out by previewing our prototype. Simply click on the play button. As you can see, our horizontal scroll feature does definitely work. All right, let's proceed with a vertical scroll for the larger cards. Begin by resizing the frame to better suit for our phone's dimensions. Select the frame, and remember, you need to return to the design stage whenever adjustments are required. Currently set at 24 pixels, we'll modify the height to match one of the iPhone dimensions, such as 932 pixels high. Although it may appear off. The content is currently overflowing beyond the frame, so select all the larger cards and apply an auto layout. Click on Clip Content. Drag this auto layout into the phone's frame to ensure the content stays within the frame boundaries. Now, Move the bottom navigation to the bottom of the adjusted height as shown. Head over to the prototype stage by clicking here at the top. Choose the vertical scroll card set at auto layout. In the scroll behavior, maintain the position to scroll with the parent and switch the overflow to vertical. To verify if this works, test it by previewing the prototype. Just click the play button again. Great. The vertical scroll works, and the horizontal functionality still works too. And there you have it, a straightforward way to create both horizontal and vertical scrolls in Figma. If you found this tutorial helpful, please remember to click the subscribe button to stay informed and about our upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching.